Alright, so no bullshit settings video. So we'll do gameplay settings first. So first thing is interact prop style, compact and default. I actually use neither of these. Instead, in my auto exec, I have this command called disable player use prompts one, and basically it gets rid of interact UI. So first I'm gonna show you what it looks like on default. You can see that up close you have this gun UI and here you see it says press E to ride zip line. But with my settings, when I change this to one, it kind of hides interact UI. So now if I should go up to a gun up close, there's no prompt to grab the gun. And on the zip line, there's no prompt to grab the zip line. All right, up next, button and soft. Actually, you kind of, you can just read this for yourself. The main things I have that are important is auto sprint is on. This one's mostly personal preference. So I'm not really going to talk about it. Usage sharing, turn that shit off. Reticle, I use, uh... Just pure white. I never really had any problems with that. Mouse ends, it's going to be 800 DPI of 1.2. Uh, this is all pretty much default. Alright, uh, let's talk about the big important stuff. Movement keys. So first I'm going to tell you how I tap strafe. So I have scroll wheel on up. But the important thing is I have jump on mouse button. Uh, not mouse button. I have it on uh, scroll wheel click. So basically, I click my scroll wheel to jump, and basically the tap shift, all I have to do is click while scrolling up, just like this. So if I scroll up normally, I don't jump, obviously, but if I click scroll, I, uh, you know, I do a tap strafe. So that's why my whole scroll wheel lights up whenever I do a tap strafe. So this keybind pretty much ensures that you perfectly time your tap strafes. So for instance, I'll do a jump pad top strafe right now. So literally all I do is click my mouse wheel while scrolling up. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so since I use auto sprint, instead I have my sprint key on left control. Alright, my jump binds are kind of interesting. So I want three different jump binds. I want I want jump on spacebar just for super gliding. Uh, so I can space and see at the same time. And then for bunny hopping, I want scroll down. Just like this. Well, Apex only lets you have two buttons bound for an input. So jump, you could usually only bind it to say scroll down and spacebar. So for me, in my auto exec, I just have it bound to mouse wheel down, space, and mouse three, which is scroll click once again. Now crouch toggle is on left alt. I usually don't use that. Uh, spa uh, crouch hold is on C for super glides. I use spacebar and C. And then I have mouse four crouch. I use that a lot. Basically this side mouse button lets me bunny hop without even touching my keyboard. So I really like this. So yeah, when I do like sliding bunny hops around, I don't even have to touch my keyboard. I literally just click scroll while holding crouch. The rest of my settings are pretty standard. I don't use alternate interact. I've just never needed it. I don't know. Um, yeah. Also, fun fact, my settings file and auto exec are posted in Discord. I'll probably put it in the description too. But I have full transparency on my binds. Holster is on X. You really want holster to be really accessible. I do holster slides all the time. You shoot, and then you holster, and then you slide, blah blah. Alright, communication. This is really important. I have um, all my pings bound to my uh, butt uh, numbers on my keyboard. So, enemy here, going here, looting here, defending here, watching here, someone's been here. And this gives you the best uh, ping spam in the game. You just hit all your keys. And you see in the top right corner, first of all, it spams the top right corner. And also, they actually hear every single ping sp sound. So it's even better than spamming enemy ping. Alright, so video settings. It's pretty normal, I'd say. Pretty much everything is disabled, uh, sprint shake minimal. The only thing I really have is the video reflex. And extra streaming budget on 8. And that's because texture streaming budget doesn't really impact your game performance too much. And then audio settings. I turned on music and lobby volume. Uh, mostly for cleaner recordings. But also because the 
Audio is dog shit. Also, little fun facts before we go on. Play incoming text chat as speech. You can actually send emojis and spam your console friends because they can't turn off the setting. So you just do this, for instance. Copy and paste. Triary says, wink with a frown, wink with a frown, wink with a frown, wink with a frown. And turning down your master frown. volume wink doesn't fix this. Wink with it's a frown. pretty funny. Wink with a frown. But you can actually do frown. this. Wink with a and it'll get rid of the sound. With the frown. Alright, so NVIDIA control settings. Uh, the important thing, I guess, is digital vibrance. A lot of people ask me how things are so vibrant. It's because of digital vibrance that it's like 70%. And then my Apex settings here, they're pretty much all on default, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I changed a couple things, like maximum performance here for power management. And... Yeah. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure I covered mostly everything. So, if you enjoyed this, then yeah, goodbye.